<laughs> All right, folks, welcome back to what will be the last sort of Lord of the Rings Diamond Select figure review video that I do until the next series comes out, which I'm really looking forward to, to be honest. Um, hopefully sooner than later, maybe in the new year, we will see. Um, but yeah, finally, I can put together Sauron. I've never had a Sauron. I never got the Toy Biz one. I uh, have thought about it for many, many years, just wanting to get it, wanting to get that old Toy Biz one. Just never really bit the bullet, never found it for a price that I was happy to pay at the time. So yeah, getting these new Lord of the Rings figures um, has been a lot of fun. I'm, I'm really, really enjoying these figures. I think they're fantastic. And uh, finally, to have a sour on, I'm really, really pumped about this. So we're gonna put him together. It shouldn't take long at all. Um, so we have the two legs. We'll start with the legs. We'll start from the bottom. It's just about making sure I've got the got the right, the left and right legs, <laughs> and uh, we'll see how these go together. All right, so that's that's one leg in. A nice tight fit. That looks good. So just a little. There's Frodo. Alright, next leg. Really nice tight fit. It's really easy to hurt yourself on these because there's a lot of sharp armor bits and I just, yeah, they're, they're not super soft either. So, Which isn't a bad thing because once it's together it's going to look sweet. So, I can't zoom out anymore so we're just going to keep going up. Up, up, up we go. Um, just sort of just stand. There we go. So, top of the torso here, and those are going to hurt my hands, so I'm just going to take them off. This is really hard to do in front of camera. I actually think I have that in. Go. Appears to be mostly in, I think. One more push. Nope, I didn't have it all the way in. That's good, that's better. Alright. So let's go. First arm. Right there, that looks good. piece back up there. Let's go the next arm. Just a little bit of hindrance in the movement there under the uh, under the arms there, but uh, that should be okay. Not really any way to go about that. We'll get around that. Sorry. I assume I've got them on the right side. I should have paid attention when I took them off. Looks good. Looks right. I will double check that afterwards. Just to make sure it's accurate. So I'll just have a look on the back of the box. Yeah, that's all right. Just to make sure it was that sort of design on the front. Right, and the, the cape here. Which I assume is just going to sit over that ball joint. I'm not sure if it's going to go down any further than that. Maybe it is, because it's got a couple of holes in the side there. Bear with me, folks. I'm going to switch the camera off and come check back once I've got that on. Okay, so I got the cape on, and there's actually just an armor plate on his back there that sort of pops off, and it has a couple of holes in it um, that allows for those spots. Um, so, yeah, I'm glad that, 
that really looks quite effective. I think that looks fantastic. I mean, yeah, that looks better than it would have had I just draped it over the neck, you know. Um, so let's put these back on. Away. It's that way. There we go. There we go. And to finish up. There we have it. Oh man. <laughs> that is seriously amazing. That is. <laughs> I'm so stoked to have a Sauron in my collection. That is amazing. Wow. That is one cool figure. little bit of uh, articulation just to sort of pose him it's a little bit I might have to just readjust and uh, get into stand a little bit play with the articulation a little bit to get him to he seems a little bit un unbalanced uh, so we'll take a look at that at some point but yeah definitely in need of his mace uh, that would be definite um, I was gonna say I could just use the, the sword but that looks a little bit undersized now <laughs> Oh, it might work. No, I think I'll just hang out and wait for the uh, wait for the mace to come with the Moria Orc. So I'm going to try and track that one down. I know they're available out and about. Um, they haven't. No one has picked them up here in this country yet. So I'm looking forward to it. Um, and yeah, really finishing this figure off. It is fantastic. Love that so much. So yeah, size comparisons, Aragorn, and Frodo, <laughs> can't even get him in the camera basically, so that's, I, ca I can't, I can't explain how over the moon I am to have a good action figure of Sauron, he looks absolutely amazing. I'm freaking blown away by this, guys, if you can't tell. Yeah, definitely needs his mace, but, uh, the ring of power. And yeah, I may end up gluing those shoulder pieces in up the top there. We'll see. That just design work on this, the, the paint, the detail, the, that detail is just on the metal of his armor. It's just the paintwork is just amazing. I'm so blown away by that. What an absolutely awesome builder figure. Oh, I'm very glad to have uh, gotten a hold of these figures. Thank you everyone who has uh, hung out and watched as I've, I've reviewed these figures. Um, the one I don't have on me at the, at the moment is Gollum, but uh, I do have all these others around the place. So yeah, this is uh, the start of a very new and exciting collection. I'm looking forward to more. Thank you, Diamond Select, for, for giving Lord of the Rings a shot. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm blown away by these. I'm looking forward to more characters. Ringwraith back there. Really looking forward to more. So, yeah, guys, let me know what you think in the comments below. I'm very, very happy with this line. I'm loving that sour on that just it feels like such a reward for collecting all the other figures which have all been fantastic in their own right um, but yeah those build a figure rewards to, to complete something like that at the end is just amazing what they, what they could do next I have no idea if they were to do another build a figure um, mouth of sour on anyone 
I don't know, there's so many options. Maybe a tree beard. Who knows? That 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 would be have to be pretty big to be honest. Um, the Toy Biz tree beard wasn't was good, but it would just yeah, it wasn't super scaled, so um, yeah, I'd be interested to see what they have planned for the future, if they've got any ideas. Um, so please Diamond Select. Uh, yeah, keep it up. I'm blown away. Look at that. I know where he's going to be sitting on my lap for the rest of the day. <laughs> Alright guys, thank you very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this one. Go get my golem out and uh, find a spot here in my Star Wars room for all my Lord of the Rings goodies. So, thanks again for watching. I appreciate it. Please subscribe. Let me know in the comments what you think. And uh, yeah, we'll see you all very soon.